The Cappuccino Handicap, race 28. Now, Cappuccino might have been one of Paul Rhodes' horses. So, 0 to 80, 2 mile, 4 furlong. And Tell Leslie is up the top for Carl Aragonte. Gold Lonesome, Force 10, Tamino. 6 to 4 pre race favourite, Frosty Veluga for Darren Howes. Rum C, Point of Interest, Capdor Silver. And the Epi for F1 Fowler. So, 9 runners. And they're off. Flat footed, Capdor Silver. So up front, the Epi with Rum C, Gold Lonesome. Capdor Silver mustered speed quickly after being slow out. Tamino, Force 10. Point of interest, Tell Leslie and Frosty Veluga, the pre race favourite at the tail. So they've spread out quickly and early in the race. So besides gold loads on, it's pretty much the bottom weights the uh, first in the first four. So it's Dieppe from Rum C, Capdor Silver and Gold Lonesome. Then there's a fair break, at least three, maybe four lengths to Tamino. And two away to Force 10, Tell Leslie, Frosty, Veluga. And stuck in behind them, their point of interest, the jockey well up in the irons. Probably don't really want that. You want your horse bowling along. <coughs> Come on down to the winning post and a lap to go. So 2,900 metres circumference track. So it's Dieppe leading from Rum Silver, who's down on the fence, three quarters away. In third is Capdor Silver, then Gold Lonesome, then a break to Tell Leslie, then two away to Tamino, Force 10, Frosty Veluga, and Point of Interest. furlongs left to go and there's been no real change in the order. Now Tell Lizley is now caught up to the first four. So it's a line of three across the track here. Dieppe, Rum Silver and Capdor Silver. Then one and a half away to Gold Lonesome. Three quarters to Tell Lizley. Then two and a half to Force 10. Then almost two to Tamino. Point of Interest and Frosty Veluga. A mile left to run. Door Silver just pokes her nose in front of Dieppe. Rum Silver down on the fence, two and a half away to Gold Lonesome and Tell Leslie. One and a half to Force 10, then one and a quarter to Tamino, Point of Vista Interest, and then Frosty Veluga. So the field in context of this race is packing up, or is bunching up. They race towards the five furlong and Capdor Silver and Dieppe push forward and Dieppe holds the lead now and finds the fence from Capdor Silver. Rum C is third. Two and a half to Gold Lonesome, Tamino, Force 10, Tell Leslie, Point of Interest and Frosty Veluga off the tail. They race towards the three furlong pole and my two seem gone, interfered with there as Force 10. So Dieppe's going for home at three furlong and so too is Gold Lonesome. They're clear of uh, Tamino, Tell Leslie, Rum C, Force 10, Capdor Silver, points of interest and the favourite Frosty Veluca cannot win. But it's uh, Gold Lonesome in front. Holding Dieppe and Tamino, then we've got Tell Leslie, Force 10, Rum C, Capdor Silver, point of interest. But at the furlong, it's Gold Lonesome, 
leads from Tamino. Tell Leslie running on the Epi Force 10 Rum C. But inside the half, it's Gold Lonesome. Tamino's getting up on the outside. Tamino hits the lead. I reckon it's one Tamino. We'll wait on the card. And Tamino's dived late, and I reckon it's poked the nose in front. We'll just check to see if it's a dead eat. And it's got up. Tamino wins for Obi-Wan. Congratulations. Second, Gold Lonesome for Hollywood Hinton. Third, Tell Leslie for Carl Aragonte. Fourth was Force 10 for Kevin Minahan. And points of interest ran on well for Alex Cherry to finish fifth.